time will tell to actually reveal if indeed that so-called idolization which he's preaching against has totally been rid of the hearts of his followers. Daddy, can you let the world know you don't need anything from him, but just that you are only clarifying things? Thank you. Well, again, like you said, um, I, I, I don't need anything from Dr. Paul. God has already blessed me. So in the last video, which I did not put in up a comment to present truth from my own point of view, my perhaps leave room for different kind of assumption. Now, considering the fact that a discussion that once trended seven months also came up in the platform of a bedamina, when the intercontinental, as they call him, the school presenter, asked this question. It, 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 it told me some very interesting stories. For instance, that uh, um, he was ordained on the same day, 1996, 97, 98. 1996 those, February. Yes, he was ordained on the same day with somebody, Odola. Paul and Odola. Then, and then um, Eninche. Yes, him, Paul and, Odola, and Paul, and Paul Eninche so were I ordained him, the same day right there. The same Eninche. Same service. So why will he now say he doesn't know you? Well, time will tell. Okay. Time Absolutely. will tell. Tell. And the same day, I think today, I ran into a video by one of your sons, um, Joshua Talena, about the message that you're doing, that nobody should contest it with you, that you are so good, that this is something you have done for a number of years. However, that he would not do the message, at least that but this message will take all over Nigeria in the next 10 years. Why would a pastor know this is good? It's coming to Nigeria in 10 years, but refuse to do it. Well, again, you know, Joshua is a very sincere guy. Because he's my son. I mean, he's a sincere guy. And uh, from, from what I know him for, he likes to understand things before he jumps into it. Now, looking at what the man that is called Intercontinental, looking at the question he asks, you might want to think maybe perhaps there was a time Dr. Paul and Nature denied of knowing the person of Dr. Ebed Damina. However, in order for us to properly understand this, because there have been a lot of development that are coming up, all right? So recently on our Facebook, I actually saw a post that was dunk off from a 2020 post by Charles Awuse in the Facebook group of the fans of Dr. Ebed Amina. So looking at all this back and front, okay, there's a need for us to even go back to the beginning. And years ago, many years ago, Pastor Paul Eninche, and I know so many of you know him, okay? Used to be a member of our church. He wanted to go to London to go and read medical science master's degree with his wife. But they didn't have the money and they didn't have the contact. So they came to Uyo with their letters of admission. I still have copies of the letter. And they said to me, we know you are connected in London. We have an admission. We want to go to London to read medicine. So that when we come back, masters, we can start doing rural medical outreach so please if you can talk to your contacts to help even if they can give us scholarship or sponsor us so i told them okay sleep in the guest guest room i'm gonna pray about it tonight so i got on my knees and the lord spoke to me clearly so i came to them in the guest room and i said the lord just spoke to me you're not going to london for medical missions you're not going to read medicine masters the Lord told me it's time for you to start the church. You start the church and the church will grow and from the church you will build medical teams that will go for medical outreach. And then he said to me, church where? I said, I hear Abuja. I gave him information. I gave him direction. He said, but I don't have anybody in Abuja. I said to him, when you get back to Jaws, get on a bus, go to Abuja. And as you arrive at Abuja, go on evangelism. And that was it. The Dunamis church was born. Because I gave him direction. So surprisingly, a video of Dr. Paul and Nature also trended, which might want to look as though he was responding to what Dr. Damina said of him, considering the time frame and the timeline, and also the emphasis that he was placing on what he said in this analogy. Now let's watch. We are from the generation of giants. See all the way, God servant Bishop David Oyedepo, God servant Pastor Oye Adebo. You see largeness, Archbishop Bessie Daos and the Lion of Blessed Memory, Kenneth Copeland, Kenneth Hagen. And every time you see a rabbit, says he gave birth to an elephant, madness is worrying it. Anytime you see a rabbit, an antelope, who said he gave birth to an elephant, he ran mad. <laughs> Did you hear what I said? Any day you see an antelope, whose claim 
that he is the father of an elephant. He remains cloth to pull. He already ran mad. He remains to pull cloth. And if you are an offspring of a lion, you cannot be a rat. Did you hear what I just said? Weight does not carry to any time you see an antelope say he is the father of an elephant. It's a schizophrenic antelope with manic depressive illness, with bipolar disorder, with psychosomatic illness. Somebody say amen. Somebody say amen. With some form of narcissistic personality disorder. Hey! Hey! Stand on your feet with a shout of victory. Now, you might want to argue that perhaps Dr. Poyaneche wasn't referring to Ebed Damina. But however, if you look at the emphasis which he was placing on, you know, fatherhood, how it's not possible for someone that is born of a lion to start behaving like, you know, the other lesser animal. He, you want to agree with me, definitely, he was sending out a message. Okay? And this is actually quite relatable, considering the fact that Damina is not as big when it comes to ministry coverage compared to the person of Dr. Paul Eneche, and also considering the fact that their focus in ministry, like their theology is not even moving in sync, okay, Damina represents the grace message, why Dr. Paul Eneche is the more of the traditional theology which we get to know. So, it is safe to assume, perhaps, he was referring to what Dr. Damina said of him. But again, looking at this video which you have seen of Dr. Paul Eneche, do you really think Dr. Paul N. Eneche is in any way suggesting that he doesn't know the person of Dr. Ebert Damina. I mean, this is an obvious fact. We are not in a stone age where there are no documentations, where there are no pictures, where there are no videos. So there is no way Dr. Paul Eneche might want to say he does not know the person of Damina. Rather, maybe because of the focus of ministry, he might just want to disassociate himself from the person of Ebert Damina. And this is also, this might also be confirmable when his wife shared how their ministry began. In this old video. My husband came back home. We were both practicing medicine in Joss. And he came back home and said he wants to go and pray. He has a leading to pray. He feels that he's at a junction. And he left to some mountainous areas in the just environs of Ghana Rock. He was there for three days. No food, no water in God's presence. But when he left the house, I told myself, I saw his eyes, and this is a serious matter today. So I advised myself to also take a fast and ask God what he has in store for us so that I'm not absolutely taken by surprise. And amazingly, when he came back after three days, the first thing he said is, what did God tell you? And I went, it was you that was going to go and pray. Supposing I hadn't prayed. Fortunately, I had taken the time to pray and we both had parchments, we had books that we wrote what we had received in. And he said, you read yours first. So I brought it out and read what God told us, told me. And he said, amazing. And then brought out his book and read it. It was virtually, do I say, word for word. And so... The confirmation to leave just come to Abuja to start this work was confirmed. I gave him direction. He said, but I don't have anybody in Abuja. I said to him, when you get back to Jaws, get on a bus, go to Abuja. And as you arrive Abuja, go on evangelism. And that was it. The Dunamis Church was born because I gave him direction. So the question is this, the confirmation Dr. Becky was referring to, was he perhaps referring to the confirmation needed to ascertain the direction the Damina had earlier communicated to Dr. Paul Eneche. The issue now, the issue I have in the way the Intercontinental presented this question, it was looking as though Dr. Paul Eneche was actually denying of knowing 
Damina at all. But having considered all this video, I think it was rather a case of wanting to disassociate your ministry from Damina rather than denying of not knowing him at all. Okay, looking at all this back and forth, one I want to ask the question is this a subtle battle of who told a lie? Or perhaps somebody wants to exert relevance by claiming fatherhood. I mean, the post which I share, all right, what I would say, Dr. I would say was saying here that this same Dr. Eber Damina that is preaching grace was a major father to a lot of father of people we consider father of faith, which people at this time comes to love. So is he trying to suggest that Eber Damina has been in has been far ahead of them even before he decided to start teaching grace perhaps maybe this is what is maybe this is what the battle is all about but one thing i am very sure which i have always placed as a warning whether you like it or not you cannot stop the person of damina by telling lies if you have observed him very well observe his ministry you will see a man doing a ministry from a genuine heart. okay so whatever is teaching if he's teaching in an error is obviously doing it with a good act. All right. So, like I said, the best ministers can do at this time is to join a Bedamina in this debate. Okay. Propaganda will not shut this man down. Calling him names will not shut this man down. Also, I think this is one trend which I've seen rooted in the acts of Africa. Okay. When we get to start seeing a man of God becoming relevant and rising to prominence there is always the tendency of his followers idolizing him. Well, time will tell, just like Damina said, but one thing I can tell is this, I'm beginning to see these traits in a lot of his followers. But like Damina said, time will tell to actually reveal if indeed that so-called idolization, which he's preaching against, has totally been rid of the acts of his followers. But with them, we are going to be here watching and making sure we bring you with updates. I don't want to know, okay, what you think about this video. Make sure to leave your comment.